What's up everybody and welcome back to an Idiot's Road to Glory episode number 7 where the eagle eyed amongst you might have noticed that we had 1900 coins at the end of 19,000 coins at the end of the last episode and we've now got 32,100 so we've made a bit of profit from that stuff that is chilling on my transfer list and in this episode I'm going to show you how I did it and talk to you guys a little bit about a top secret trade method so like I said I've made loads of coins. Well, I've made 13,000 coins at this point, and I think we're going to click onto my transfer list now, and it's going to refresh, and I'll make a little bit more from selling. There we go. That Kadira for 6,000 coins that we packed in the rewards. And here is a quick, brief look at some of the stuff that we have been sniping. So I've been sniping a lot of Charlesons for 1,600 coins, and I'm going to come onto that in a second, and you guys will see that prices fluctuate, and you need to be on the ball and looking at stuff all of the time. But I am going to run you guys through some filters that you guys can be using. I'm going to show you the filter that I used to tip myself over 100,000 coins. But that, that's not all. Wait until we go live and you see how many coins I have actually got now. It is mental. So I've been doing multiple different ones, keeping it fresh, going for different things. We are going for Richarlison's and praying to get Bernard's. You can see down the end there, we were going for some Clivets because he's gone one to watch and his price has gone up and people are still listing him for the price that he used to be worth before he went out of packs. And you can see down the end, a hidden top secret trade method with it all blared out so that you can't even see what color the cards are because I've made them all green and brown. So we'll get onto that. We will get onto that. I think actually there's a little strip in the middle there, which is that random Brazilian silver dude worth 500 coins that we packed in the last episode in a reward pack. But the other ones are all the same cards from our top secret sniper method. But let's jump to live and I will jump into some sniper methods and show you guys some stuff that you can be sniping. So we'll come on to the Richarlison one in a second because that requires a little bit more explaining. But I'm gonna to talk to you guys about that one and this one which can work on the same principle and make it very, very effective. So this one is Chelsea, Premier League and Spanish. And the reason it's very effective is because there's three different players that you can, in fact there's four. I don't think you're ever gonna get a Marcus Alonso. How much is he worth? Yeah, so he's worth 8,000. I mean, you could get him if you are the luckiest person in the world. But basically, the idea, and there's a Maratta as well who's worth just as much. So there's loads of players you can get. But realistically, what you are looking for is Pedro's. He's worth at the moment about 1,900 coins. So I'd maybe put this on about 1,500 and go for like two, 300 coins profit on the top end ones and then pray you get some like discard value ones and stuff like that. But then what you actually want to be doing is praying you hit Keppers, who is worth considerably more coins or that's an extra thousand coins to be honest with you. So you can pay, make an extra little bit of profit on there. And then you pray even more that you hit Fabregas and he's worth a thousand coins again. And then you pray even more that some numpty lists up a Marcus Alonso or a... <laughs> Basically you're just praying on stupid people or a Maratta and then you can make absolute bank. So. What I would do for this is because Pedro sells for about 1900, I'd probably set this up around 1500. You can make a few hundred coins on the Pedros. You can hope to get a Pedro for like 800 or something like that. And you can maybe, if you're extra, extra lucky, hit yourself a. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this one, I'm talking. You can hit yourself a Fabregas or a Kepa or something along them lines. So that is the first one. That works on the principle of. You're going for the bottom end one, but if you get lucky and get one of the other ones, you're going to make an absolute fortune. And that is kind of similar to the Richarlison one, which at the moment, it fluctuates in the way that it works, but at the moment, it is Premier League Brazilian and left midfield. And what you're going for is, it didn't used to work like this because this guy used to be too cheap and he wasn't worth sniping and he used to limit it just down to Everton. But you can put it on just Premier League at the moment because, as you can see, Kennedy is worth about 2,000 coins. So what you want to do is you want to try and snipe Kennedy. And while you're trying to snipe Kennedy, who's worth about 2K for, say, like 1,500 coins, if you snag yourself a Richarlison, you'll be able to sell him on for more than 2,700. About 2,800 coins, pretty much, instantly. So even that one's a little bit of a bargain. You can make some coins on that. But I'm pretty sure someone will have already bought it. Yes, of course they have. Okay. So it's the same principle again. You go for Kennedy's, you hope for a Charleston, and you pray to Jesus that you get instead to R and Jesus that some idiot lists up Bernard and the R and Jesus falls on you and the R and G is the makes it you're the one who did the search at the right time and gets to pick up the Bernard if you press all the buttons as fast as you possibly can in the right order. Yeah, so they're the ones that I have been doing quite a little bit. There's that one and there's another one. I'm going to show you the other one. I'm going to show you me in action actually doing it and trying to pick up some players because it's the one... As you got, I've totally glossed over this. The fact that we've got 131,000 coins is pretty mental. And I've sort of just blase. Yeah, we had 19,000 coins at the start of the last episode, the end of the last episode. Yeah, we've got 131,000 coins now. We've got a little bit mental. So... 
stuff is to come with these coins. Let me know down in the comment section what you would like to see me do with them. I think I'm going to do some SBCs, the advanced ones, the marquee matchups, the Champions League one to get a blue Champions League card, and even maybe player of the month, Lucas, and then pairing up with one to watch with Charles and her squad. Let me know what you think of that idea. And speaking of comments, actually, let's go down to comment of the day, who is from Barra Barra Rolfa Sko. I'm going to assume that that is a Nordic name, and I'm just going to call you Barra. So thank you very much for your comment, Barra. He sold, he's told me to sell my Thomas Lamar because his price has increased massively. And then it's also a very, very good point. With Thomas Lamar being a one to watch, there is some coins that we can potentially unlock from. I think he's worth 25k at the moment, and I bought him for 40. So it might be worth me selling them on, to be honest with you. Maybe even wait until the end of the week or the middle of the week when the prices hit their maximum and we can shift them on for about 25, 30k. That's a pretty good idea because we can get a different player like an Ascensio or something like that or we can just wait for his price to go back down and snap Thomas Lamar back up for 14k once again. So anyway, enough of that. Let me show you guys the filter that I use, the exact filter to pick up or go over, make the coin basically to go over 100,000 coins. Let's hit play. Let's have a little look at this. So, as you might have seen then, and as I miss this first one for 500 coins, German Bundesliga left midfield is what I have got this set on. So there's bronzes, there's silvers, there's golds. We're going for all of them under 800 coins. And at the time that I was doing this, the bronze and silvers instantly sold for 1100 and the gold instantly sold for 1300 so you see i'm just getting warmed up here i've got 91,000 coins my fingers aren't really working properly i'm pressing all of the wrong buttons again we've just tried to add him to the transfer list just bid on him but for some reason nobody bought it and i was like okay whatever they were probably too busy buying that silver one or trying to buy the silver one so i picked him for 800 and i think we listed this one up for 1200 but it took a little bit too long to sell so i started going for 1100 on the bronze and silver ones we pick up the silver one here 600 coins list them up for 11 it's basically 500 coins in the bank very very nice and easy and then it started this coin started to roll in and we started to actually pick up some of the gold ones as well after this like you can see that was our first couple that we started to pick up but they actually did start to roll in we actually started to pick up some pretty decent deals i think i'm leaving this rolling straight just to show you guys how frequently they're coming up and there you go there's me getting my first gold on after getting that bronze and then the silver and the gold picked them up for 350 coins listed them up for 1300 and he will sell basically instantly for 1300 coins and at the moment currently when i'm recording this he'll sell for even more than that. i think he's like 1700 now which is pretty nuts so this is a very good filter for you guys to be getting on if we pick up oh no we didn't pick okay we missed that one so that that just shows you guys that was a little 20 second 30 second segment of how crazy fast them deals were coming up and they're gonna be even more now because you can put your price up but this one i'll explain this all in a second this one this one is the one that gets me over a hundred thousand coins 350 coins, 9,000 coins worth of sniping later. We pick this guy up and we list them straight back up for 1,300. And as you can see, after buying them, we've still got 99,000. It was literally just a case of waiting for him to sell, even though the EA servers are having an absolute nightmare and didn't want me to load into my <laughs> tray pile. But when we back out, I think we... Do we go into our transfer targets? I'm not really sure what I was doing. I think I was just flipping around the menus, hoping the coins would actually come through. Because they sell basically instantly. There you go. He's gone. I've got non selling And there's the coins. There we go. 100,000 coins in the bag. Let's jump back to live where we've got 131k. So, I was talking about the prices of the German left wings, left mids in the Bundesliga. I don't know what it is about left mids. I've been doing a lot of left mid sniping and I've just sort of hit on it. And one of my mates was telling me about them as well, and it just seems to work. So, absolutely beautiful. Shout out to Ross for getting me in on these. There's a couple of other ones that he knows as well, and a couple that I found myself that I'll start to show you guys as well after we've done this. But like I was saying, I was selling them for 1,300 coins. They've actually gone up in price. Like, doing this now is very much worth it. We didn't get in because I'm not paying attention properly. What am I on? 1,800. There's one for 1,400. Obviously, he's already been sold. Maybe I'm chilling in someone else's cache because you need to obviously... Make sure you're doing unique searches every single time. And I'm not doing them fast enough. That has already been listed up for three seconds. Anyway, basically what I'm getting at is these things are worth like 2,000 coins now. It's actually ridiculous. Like there is no gold on for under 2K. So you can, I was trying to snipe them for 800 coins and you've seen how fast they were coming up. Stick this on like 1.4 and they'll be absolutely flying out of the packs. Or I say they're flying out of the packs, flying onto the market. It's mental. What's this? Okay, okay, we're not going to try and snipe stuff live on camera because it's such a pain in the bum trying to make my fingers move fast and actually buy stuff at the same time. And I'm, I'm 
Too busy looking at the camera to talk to you guys. Anyway, basically, this filter is legit. It's really, really good. The people released stuff up, as you've just seen, for 300 coins all of the time. And they're now worth like 2K. The bronze and silver ones are worth about 2,000. And the bloody gold ones are worth even more. Like, how much do we need to bump this up to make gold actually come up? So 2,300. This is stupid. Like, the, the, go and get on this filter, basically, is what I'm telling you. I should have tried to bid on that. But anyway, look at it. 2.5K, and they've only just started to come up. Stick your minimum price on like 1700 or something like that and you're absolutely smashing out the coins if you can be picking some of these bad boys up. 100% would recommend this one. This one's the one that made me like 10k in about 20 minutes and tipped me over the 100,000 coin marks. That is very, very good. We have then, of course, as I've been teasing you guys, got the top secret filter. So I've got a couple of clips. I'm going to keep this one to myself for now but let me know how desperate you are to know this filter down in the comment section and maybe i'll make a reveal video a little bit down the line but let's have a look at these clips you can see this one picked up for 700 coins listing on the market for 4,000. that is 300 3,300 coins of profit and this one picked up for 200 this is the exact same card just at a slightly different time where the price has dropped a little bit so prices fluctuate and you need to keep on top of them all the time 3,700 after buying them for two hundred coins that's three and a half k profit and i've had ones today i picked up one this morning for 700 coins and sold it for four and a half grand it's actually mental like that is that is staying my secret for now because that is where a lot of my coins are coming from if you guys are on that and you've got some idea about the prices and know exactly what that is keep that one to yourself get on it do it as much as you can because it's an absolute money maker and maybe i'll reveal that to you guys in a few videos time but for now we're keeping that one top top secret have i got any other trade methods or sniper methods for you guys what have i got written on my whiteboards we've been through chelsea spanish we've been through Evan left mid we've been through gem bunziga roma left backs that's another good one so with these filters you want to be trying to hit on players that can make you coins but at the same time they've got one one a couple of thousand above that can make you absolute bank if you manage to get one of them instead if someone's extra stupid so roma left backs for example You've got Stanton, who was, when I looked this morning, chilling about 1,300 coins. Has he gone down? Okay, he's gone down a little bit. Okay, we've got this silver guy for 1,100. Stanton's going for about 1,200. So what you want to be doing is trying to snipe these for about 750 coins. But the moneymaker is your prey for the fact that some numpty head lists up a collar of and you can sell them for about three grand. It's on min lists of color. So that's a pretty decent one. Basically, just any filters that have got multiple players in them of different tiers are probably the best to go because you can use this as a consistent little money maker as people constantly get 75 rated cards and list them up. And if you hit on a color of, boom, you've made a bloody fortune. So that is all of them that I've got for you guys for now. Best times to do these are. I'm on the PlayStation. You can see there's 4.7 million things on the market at the moment. This is at quarter to seven on a Sunday. When new packs come out, when so basically when the market's full, when new packs come out, when new marquee matchups come out, when stuff goes into packs like the one to watches during Team of the Week, when that first goes in, are the best times to snipe. And you can make yourself an absolute fortune. Like I've gone from just about 30k to, oh no, it was like 19k one, just about 25k to 131 in a day. Absolutely ludicrous. The bigger question is, what on earth do we do with these coins now? So, I've been having a little look at this Lucas Moura, and I've actually filled in with basically squads that I can complete this whole thing with, with stuff from my club, which is pretty cool. But you also get a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, a Rare Gold Pack, a 25k pack in it, Gold Players Pack, I think it's a 25k pack, and a Premium Gold Pack, a 7.5k pack, and a kit, plus the Lucas for about 50k. So, I was speaking to Riggers, and he said this stuff discards for about 15k anyway. And that's literally just discard and everything. So if you pack something that's worth 10k, you've basically got a Lucas for like 15, 20k, which is pretty mental. For an impact, you'd hope to get something at least all right that sells for a couple of thousand coins. So let me know if you think we should do that. Grab ourselves a one to watch with Charleston, maybe with the coins and pop them in a squad. The one I was looking at doing is marquee matchups at the start of the day on these. We'll do this in another video and open. I'll show you how to do all the SPCs and we'll open all of the packs. Again, this one, the way for competition, you get a loan or Bemiang, but you get a two-player pack that gives you two of them blue Champions League cards, which I definitely want to do that one. And then maybe we'll just spend it on upgrading our team, get rid of Ilara Mendy, maybe bring in 
Mariano and Isco or something ridiculous like that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think we should spend our coins on. I kind of want to build a Brazilian team with Richarlison and Lucas. That is what I'm thinking of doing. But for now, I think we're going to leave that episode there. There's some sniping filters there for you guys that I have got written down on my whiteboard. German Bundesliga left mid, Roma left back, Everton left mid, Chelsea Spanish, and of course, top secret that is staying just for me for now because we've made 100,000 coins in a day, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Let me know what you think we should do with the coins down in the comment section. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you can make tons of coins like I have been with them filters as well. And if you know the top secret one, make sure you're absolutely smashing else because it's making ludicrous amounts of coins at the moment. For now though, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for tuning into all of the Road to Glories. You guys are awesome. I'll see you tomorrow.